Legislate is one of the most amazing stories. Uh, obviously, he was, he's incredibly close to my heart. Um, he was the first champion that I ever produced. His lifetime statistics are off the charts, albeit from a, a small population of, of horses. Uh, he's producing 75% winners to runners. He's producing 37% stakes horses to runners and a phenomenal 22% stakes winners to runners. Training Legislate was uh, an incredible uh, moment in my career. Beautiful individual by Dynasty, which is just uh, as good as you get in South Africa. Just come forward to pick it up. Now Captain America sets out after him. Legislate's in front though. Captain America is unwinding his run, but he's going to come too late. And Legislate has won it from Captain America. Willow Magic, Futura's closing in, but it's got too much to do. It's Legislate. Willow Magic, Futura on the outside. Legislate's going to win it. He's running the Greenpoint Stake for me. It was one of the best runs I've ever seen from any horse, pretty much in South African history. Cool, so all the greats have come along, they've run the Kenworth Mile, and the horse that holds the course record is Legislate. I've, I've really thoroughly enjoyed training a lot of the uh, Legislates. They've given us great pleasure, and I think going forward when he gets stronger mares, he's going to be a stallion to take quite seriously. Hood Spray, there's been uh, Speed Machine, Veronica Mars, they've all pretty much uh, black type uh, horses uh, and uh, are very versatile to be honest. Uh, if you look at all three of them, they've run from uh, I think 1,000, 1,200 to a mile. Hood Spray went further, Veronica further, very versatile horses and consistent. So I think uh, to any breeder owners out there, uh, I don't think you can go wrong with uh, Legislate. He was a phenomenal horse. Um, for me personally, he's still one of the best horses I've ever ridden. And I've ridden his progeny, uh, Hood Sprite, big, big horse. Done really, really well. Speed Machine, Veronica Mars. Um, you know, for, for his first crop to produce those sort of horses that have come out and really showcase what he was about uh, was amazing. Uh, Vaughan and his team has done well um, at Chevalier Stud with him, um, you know, managing him and keeping him fit. Uh, I was so fortunate to go and see him in the weekend. I was, I was very surprised. I, I honestly felt like I looked uh, in the eyes of Dynasty himself. Just the way the source has grown, he's, his face looks like Dynasty. So um, it's great to see him and I'm very confident that his, uh, his progeny is going to produce great things still. I get very emotional uh, about him. Um, he's incredibly close to my heart. Uh, he crept into my heart as a racehorse. His strong will came through his races. He, um, he tried every inch of the way. And he wasn't without one or two issues. And he ran through those. Um, he, he has an incredibly big heart and he seems to produce that and pass it on to his offspring. And 90% of it is heart.